Hey guys, welcome back. Lisa Miller here, and today I'm teaching you how to code. So the first thing you want to do is um, download this app named Atom, and make sure it's the 1.32.2, and your computer is required to be 64-bit Windows 7 or later. Um, this is like the best one you could possibly get because it's really good. So anyways, you want to go into the app, X out like everything else that's up here, and leave it on untitled. Oh no, actually X out the untitled, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you do that, you want to go to a new file. It'll make another untitled. So technically, I guess you didn't have to do it. But, you also want to make a new file folder which you, you cannot do in the app you have to do outside of the app so you want to go to new folder you can name your folder whatever you want I'm gonna name it um, hold on all right I can't do that hold on let me just rename this you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Musa. Okay, it's going to go down here. Now you see it's right here, okay? Now the first thing you want to do is do Control S, okay? And this thing will pop up. Now what you want to do is type in whatever you want. So I'm going to name it my name. And then if it, this is it dot html like you can't forget this always remember dot html and then look for your folder so mine's on the desktop It'll be right here and then save now just wait a second and there we go you can see it automatically registered as an html file and so the first thing you want to do is um type in this hold on Exclamation point, doc type, all caps, space, HTML, and then a uh, backwards carrot, whatever you call it. And then you want to click enter, make another um, forward facing carrot, make another one or whatever that is. Type in HTML, and then you, oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. And then you go down, two spaces and type slash html the slash is supposed to like end the coding so anything in between here is what will be the coding anything in between the two html's will be what the coding is so you want to click enter again and then type in head oh man I keep doing that and then you want to type in title and then you put something in between here, so words, I'm going to put my name again. And then ends title. So now when you go to your website, which I'll show you how to do later on, it'll show your title. It'll show like in this top corner, the title. Oops. Right, so then what you want to do is end the head. Why do I keep doing that? Alright. Next thing you want to do is body. And then two enters. And then end body. This is where pretty much all of the main coding goes. It's going to go in between the body. Oh yeah, make sure you spell everything correctly. Because anything spelled wrong is not going to work. So, now that you've done that, these are the basics. So if you want to write a few words on your website, you do this, P, which stands for paragraph. You could also do H1. You could also do, close the door. Anyways, you could also do H1, H2, H3, H4 all the way until H6 and those are just headers and they choose the size 
For example, H1 is like very small and H6 is very big. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't remember. Anyways, you want to do P. And then you want to put some words inside of it. So, let me do this. Sorry guys, my mother is drinking her pre so Alright. And you end the P. Oh, don't forget to save every now and then so that just in case your computer crashes or something. Close the door! Oh jeez. Alright, hold on guys, just a second. And my alarm went off! The door! Anyways, yeah, so then you save, and it'll be on your website in the top left corner. And I'll show you how to move it around next video, CSS styling. So, next thing you want to do, you want to add a photo. Then, is then what you want to do is you want to do IMG space SRC. And then, once you do that, you want to, I mean, not that, you want to put these two things. So, let's go find an image really quick. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I got the image. Now, what you want to do is, you don't want to download it. I just realized that, so let me go back to the image. that this is lagging so bad all right so what you want to do is you want to find a random image please don't copyright me I hope these are copyrighted. you want to copy the image not the image the image address sorry and once you get here you want to paste it okay it's really long whatever put this okay only one of them for some reason it's going to and then put an ending carrot All right, there you go. That's where your image goes. And just hold on a second. Just need to look something up on my phone. Oh, guys, I forgot the most important part. You gotta put equals. There we go. I was wondering why it was all green. Alright, anyways, so, uh, let me just put a space here. Now you got an image on your website. By the way, they're all stacked, so it won't, like, overlap with your, um, text. Now, let me show you how to do a heading. So, let me do H1 which is the biggest one, I'm 90% sure. Alright, we saw more. Alright, and then end H1. What? And anyways, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Just wondering why Naruto was on the TV. Apparently somebody recorded it. Doesn't matter because I finished it anyway. By the way, she put in. That's why you can hear that in the background. So if you hear intro like, I don't know, freaking 12 or something, that's what it is. But anyways guys, um, what you want to do is, yeah, that's how you do your header. And 
let's here now I'm gonna show you how to get your thing now what you want to do is you want to view page source I mean wait the f sorry <laughs> right now you want to do control O. don't do view page source that's that's not what you want to do All right. Alright, so then you want to find your document. So just go to desktop, Musa. Open it, and there, here we are. It's right here. Hello, guys, it's me, Musa Miller. Rock, Musa Miller. Alright, guys, so that'll be it for today. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!